day today <laughs> yes it is friends welcome back to the channel my name is Alita if you are new here welcome and today I have a word to share with you it is related to the last two videos that I did um, the Lord wants us to go deeper in terms of what he's doing with you guys for those who this word is for and before we get into the word as always it's important to remember that it, not every prophetic word is meant for everyone so you've got to take it to the Lord even if it's your word even if this is confirmation of what God is saying to you please take it to him ask him your questions get your strategy he's the one that has all the answers he's the one who will give you the full picture of what's going on his voice is the most important please 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 let that be a thing in your life okay so um, like I said this is based on the previous two previous videos that I did and the Lord just wants to add more to it or at least go deeper in terms of what he's doing in this time because you know it's it's so nice and and fun or exciting let me rather say that to um, have this idea of you know God is putting me in these you know, top positions or putting people in these top positions and you know they're going to be before kings and before governors before world leaders and all of that that sounds exciting and um I'm sure intimidating as well for, for a lot of you but it's 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 more than you it's bigger than you it's bigger than me it's bigger than all of us it's about humanity it's about you know <laughs> It's about establishing God's kingdom on earth because um, what the devil has done in this world is so destructive. Um, there's so much destruction. He's destroyed so much. His job is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus came that we may have life and life in abundance. And through us, he's bringing that abundant life here on this earth. So it is bigger than us, guys. you got to really think about these things beyond yourself and I think that's why the Lord has has me come on here and share this particular word um so <laughs> this is hard for me only because I've been thinking about this stuff for a while now and it's all just all this stuff in my mind the Lord drops stuff in my spirit and then I look up and I research so there's a lot going on in terms of this and I'm really doing trying to do my best to um, put it to compartment compartmentalize all of this information um, and just also trying to sift through my flesh you know what what i think it is or whatever so bear with me if it sounds like i'm all over the place i'm going to try and make this message as simple as possible without veering too much into other things that i don't need to in this particular video so this is what the lord has been revealing to me okay part of it at least the One of the main reasons that he has been grooming and preparing so many of you and refining so many of you for these positions in these top places, in, in these leadership positions, um, in these high places in the world, is because of, um, of the fact that <laughs> there's been this... Um, infiltration of the Jezebel spirit, right? And... I'm calling it the Jezebel spirit very loosely simply because um, it didn't begin with with Jezebel it that spirit didn't just appear after she died and you know she became a spirit that spirit was there even in the Garden of Eden right manipulation lies twisting the truth controlling using God's word for your own purposes twisting it that spirit was already there seduction already there right so i i i like to always just disclaimer that um that label of that spirit as an it's it's a very loose label for me because that spirit was always in operation and really it's just the spirit of satan um so there's this trend or this um yeah this this new understanding and i call it new even though you know it's been a few years now but a few years ago is new um you know this term narcissistic personality disorder narcissism this has become a buzzword a buzz term um over the past few years and <laughs> very recently the lord has really had me 
study this from a psychological perspective like really listen to um, psychologists speak about it read up on it um, and as I was doing that so he started me off there and as I was doing that I just kept thinking well what my suspicion always was right I, that, that's what I kept going back to like oh this is the Jezebel spirit it's that spirit that's what we're seeing here with all of this with the traits of this narcissistic personality disorder thing and um, the Lord just started to link certain things to me and he said um, I was listening to this one woman and she spoke about how um, a certain president of the <laughs> of that people absolutely loved um, is a narcissist and I was like what and that really like stood out to me and I started to think, of, to think about it but that's not the point of this video it's just to show you that um, the Lord was pointing this out to me that the people in these top positions or leadership positions they have this uh, disorder majority of them do I'm not gonna say all of them because that is definitely not true but majority of them do and the Lord had me go into researching how it all starts which I already had suspected childhood trauma and stuff happening in childhood right um, so I've, I've been reading up a lot on that watching a lot of videos on that it's been very interesting guys but the point of this video today isn't to go in depth into that it's to give you an understanding of why the Lord wants you in those positions excuse me why he's placing you there he is placing you there because it's because there's a there's a reason that narcissistic people are in these top positions it is by design it was designed by the enemy and by design by God's design he is bringing up his army his commanders to go into those spaces and to be the ones to defeat the spirit right in those circles in those spaces the Lord raised Jehu up Jehu Jehu <laughs> to um, to defeat Jezebel right and he was a commander in God's army and once the prophet that was sent um, gave him the message and said you know the Lord has anointed you and he anointed him with oil and said you're the king and immediately Jehu sprung into action immediately Jehu began to execute the mandates that were given to him so he took um, the king out I forget these names guys um, go read 2nd Kings chapter 9 chapter <sighs> I know chapter 9 is Jezebel's death, but yeah, go read 2 Kings chapter 9 and the chapters before that to get a full understanding of the story. But he started to take all these people out as he was mandated by the Lord because he is the next king, right? He's the new king. He's been anointed. And <laughs> every time a messenger was sent out to him by the, the, the king who was wounded or the other king, I'm not sure who sent the messenger, read, read 2 Kings. Um, the messenger would go and ask oh the king wants to know have you come in peace and he says what do you know about peace fall in line and the messenger would just join jehu's army so what i love about that picture is how confident jehu was but he wasn't just arrogant and 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 smug he understood his mandate and he went in there with confidence he went in there without fear he understood his identity the Lord has anointed me as king so as the king I know what I need to do I need to take one two three people out and take and take my position right and if anyone comes to oppose me I'll take care of them in the best way I know how and for him he just said you know just join me just you know with with certainty this man wasn't like okay um no go and explain to the king that I'm he wasn't trying to strategize he wasn't trying to manipulate he was not trying to use the tactics of that spirit of that Jezebel spirit the way it had been operating the way it was trying to come against him he stood on the fact that this is who I am and this is what I've come to do and I'm not going to entertain anything and a lot of you have been raised up and groomed and you are ready to actually be that commander to be the person you are anointed and you are you are mature enough to go into those spaces that the Lord has called you to and not be affected by what the spirit is trying to do how it's trying to get to you trying to get information from you because the spirit thrives on information 
So the people that carry the spirit will want to know stuff. And that's what Jehu was doing. He was basically ignoring that and saying, you know, just get in line. And um, by the time he got to, um, he was going towards where Jezebel lived, um, she saw him coming and she kind of like, you know, made herself up and she sat by the window and she started to hurl all these insults at him. You murderer, because obviously she had just heard that um, he, uh, Jehu had taken out her son and other people. And she just started to, you know, shout at him and stuff. And he never responded to her once. Never tried to defend himself, never tried to use words back and forth with her to explain anything. He just said, let's read what he said, I love it. He said, who is on my side? He wasn't talking to her, he was talking to the people who were already in position. So the Lord was showing me how where he's sending you, he already has people in position who are waiting for you. They're waiting for the person that's going to be bold enough to say something. They're waiting for the person that's going to have the strength, the peace, the, 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 the firmly rooted identity in Christ to come and, um, and, and, and be the person that breaks what's going on to defeat that spirit that's there because they know that what's happening is wrong. They know that it's not right, but they cannot speak up for themselves and they're waiting for you. That is why the Lord is positioning you where he's positioning you. He has prepared you for this. That's why it's been so difficult and so painful because he really wanted to train you up really well so that you can walk in there and do what you need to do and not be pulled this way or that way, not be distracted or caught up in accusations and what people are saying to you you have endured accusations before through the um a lot of you have had to go through a process where um people accused you falsely you were painted in a bad light um people came against you and it it really messed up things in your life like it was really painful but the lord used that to train you up and he taught you how to respond and how not to respond to that and now you know what you need to do once you're in those spaces so Jehu did not speak to her. He didn't have a back and forth, um, you know, tennis match with her. He just said, who is on my side? And immediately these two eunuchs came up to her, came up uh, closer to where Jezebel was and he could see them. And he said, just throw her out. And they threw her out the window. So um, Jehu defeated this woman without even saying a word to her. That is a key thing. And guys, it's also so important to note that you know people tend to like separate they'll say like there's a Jezebel spirit and an Ahab spirit um, which is why for me I use the term Jezebel spirit loosely because that same spirit was operating in both Je Jezebel and Ahab um, that let's call it the narcissistic personality disorder it was operating in both of them because there's different um, manifestations of this disorder and on the one side it can be very um, oh I'm the victim the world owes me everything why can't I have what I want I want it so I'm gonna sulk or I'm gonna whatever that was Ahab on the other side you have the controlling the manipulate the manipulating side the side that um, uses words, twists things to just get what they want and manipulate situations. And sometimes, very often, you have a person that has all those traits in them. And so um, the Lord was showing me this. He was showing me that both of these people were narcissistic and, um, and together it was just a disaster, obviously. So what the what the key thing here is to understand that this spirit has been in operation for a long time in this world and there are certain things that the enemy designed to make it more rife to make it so that the spirit can operate in a lot more people but that's a video for another day um, so understand that you guys are being positioned to um, go and defeat the operation of the spirit in the places that he's sending you to. Um, I'd like to encourage you with the following scripture or two scriptures. First Peter 2 verse 9 says, 
But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of the darkness into his wonderful light. He has called you out of the darkness, right? The darkness could have been ignorance for you. It could have been just living a worldly life. It could be anything that was just darkness that didn't have his light he's called you into his wonderful light he has groomed you he has prepared you you will be able to walk into the situations and know how to deal with the spirit that is at play here deuteronomy 14 verse 2 is just as beautiful it says you have been set apart as holy to the lord your god and he has chosen you from all the nations of the earth to be his own special treasure you are god's special treasure he is sending you out there prepared so friends i really encourage you to pray about this word this is not just about oh yeah it's exciting i'm going to be you know in this top position and i'm going to do this and that you have to be um grounded and rooted in your identity in the lord and understand what your mandate is go in and do what god has commanded you to do um yeah so that is the word for today friends um i really hope i made sense there is a lot more that i want to share with you guys i have to obviously pray and seek god on what to what to say because there's a lot that he's shown me and um some of it is controversial some of it is going to ruffle some feathers some of it is going to upset people but that's okay um it's just part of this whole thing of just not reacting to everything <laughs> so yeah um that's the word for today friends i will see you guys probably the next time you'll see me is on the live which is on friday um i'm doing live at dream interpretation if you'd like me to interpret your dream or at least a chance for me to interpret your dream because there is no guarantee that every single dream that I get sent will be interpreted. Um, you can send it to the email address on the screen. I will also try and remember to put it in the information box below. And um, for those of you who are not looking at the screen, the email address is a dream in time at outlook.com. Um, yeah, please send in only short dreams, guys. I cannot be reading out dreams with scene changes. Um, if you do want to be a part of a community where we, you know, get together weekly and we interpret each other's dreams, no matter the length, you can join my membership. It's the Patreon membership and the link is in the description below. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Guys, always remember that God is a good father. He loves you so much because you, my friend, are so deeply special to him.